goodness I went out and bought myself one of these because the other day um, my Toyota didn't start so uh, I had to pick me up one of these and then today of course you know around here um, we don't mow in the winter all that much we don't get a chance to mow a whole lot so the lawnmower and the uh, uh, weeder weed eater and all that been kind of sitting around and uh, I went and started up the weed eater earlier and boom, started right up. That was pretty good. And then I went and sat down on the uh, little lawnmower and you saw what happened anyway, so. Now I'm gonna have to trickle charge a thing. Um, first off, thank you if you're a subscriber. Do appreciate it a lot and I'm glad that you're here. If uh, you haven't yet uh, rung the bell, well, rung it, would you please? Because uh, then, uh, then I don't get caught up in all the, you know, algorithm nonsense that's going on and you get, uh, directly notified whenever there's a video here. So if you're interested in that, please ring the bell. If you're not a subscriber, thank you for showing up. I do appreciate it a lot. Consider subscribing, please, because we do a whole bunch of cool things around here and, uh, just take a look at a few of our other videos and you'll get a flavor of what we do. And then, uh, you can choose to subscribe or not, or you can just swing by anytime you want. Patreon patrons, thank you. There's a bunch of you that directly support us, and I just wanted to say a very special thank you to all of you. Thank you. If you're not a Patreon patron yet, and you would like to contribute to us as we uh, bring you things, reviews and things like this, um, we would greatly appreciate it if you consider it. There's a link below and link up in the card thing or wherever it is, it's up here. I always forget where that thing is. And uh, so, you know, our whole goal here, our whole mission, is that we would bring you um, reviews and tests and evaluations of things that are all about the outdoors and uh, you know gardening <laughs> this includes this too uh, it's outdoors um, and we do all that stuff so that we can bring you an unbiased opinion of uh, what's out there and chances are if we've bought it we've done all the research and we typically will like what we already have bought and we'll present it to you that way. Sometimes though, things go a little sideways and we let you know. In any event, uh, we do all of that so that you don't have to. You, uh, you spend your money on stuff just like everybody else and it's kind of nice to be able to go to a place that has uh, you know, taken one for the team, as it were, and that's kind of what we do. We take one for the team and let you know what our experience is. So if you find that of value to you, become a Patreon patron, I, I would appreciate it a lot. All right. So back to this, um, we're going to throw this on this table. Uh, we're going to get to the specs on this. I'll do this a little bit differently. And then right after that, we're going to hook it up to that lawnmower and uh, get it going. Oh, by the way, Black & Decker did not pay me to do this. This is uh, uh, not sponsored by them or anything, but there'll be a link down below that uh, you can use. Uh, we are an affiliate of uh, Amazon so that if you purchase through Amazon, uh, we do get a little kickback, no extra cost to you. Oh, and by the way, check this out. Use our Amazon link down below. When you do, it helps us out and it doesn't cost you a penny more. And after using the link, save it to your bookmarks so you can have easy access to it in the future. Thank you. Alrighty then, let's throw this on the table, shall we? That's it. It comes nicely packaged. And, uh, oh, there you go. Here's that. Overall length, it's uh, about a foot. It's about five and a half inches this way, front to back. It's about eight inches. It weighs in at six pounds and five and five eighths ounces. On the back, it's got a nice storage compartment for the AC cord. On either side, there's a post made of plastic that you can clamp 
the uh, electrode clamps too, just like that, for storage and safety. When you're done with the cables, they just wrap right around the unit in this little area. Kind of the clamps go on right here. Oops. Didn't do a very good job there. There you go. The battery cables are about six feet in length. It's pretty good. The AC cord is also about six feet long. Plenty long. It comes equipped with five modes. The charge mode, the engine start mode, checking battery voltage mode, checking your alternator, and reconditioning the battery. This charger is rated from 0 to 15 amps to charge. It can deliver up to 40 amps to be able to start your motor if the battery is totally dead. And you want to get it started right away. After you've charged your battery, it'll automatically go into what's called float mode to, as it's needed, trickle in some charge from time to time during the winter when you're not using your lawnmower, which is what I'm hoping this will be able to do. This thing can charge and maintain wet, gel, and AGM automotive or marine 12 volt batteries. 12 volt only. Now just as a quick reminder to all of you, there is an instruction manual. Be sure you read the instructions before you do this. You might blow yourself up if you don't pay attention to what you're doing. All right, two things that I want to point out that are a bit of an annoyance about this unit. One, these flippy up feet where they seem like a very great idea if you want to kick the thing up so it's in a better angle to see. Uh, they're easily, as you can see, uh, flipped down. So moving around, it, yeah, Black & Decker, you can probably fix that. Uh, the other thing is the charging cables that wrap around the back of the unit. Great idea, great for storage. And then there's this pocket back here where the power cord comes out. They come in conflict with each other when you're trying to wrap things up or unwrap things. It just makes a coiled up, uh, tangled up mess with all the cords. Uh, that could have been avoided as well. So let's get this thing charged up. Now this is not an automotive application. This is a lawnmower application and the instructions talk about how to use it in an automotive situation. So we're gonna have to adapt as we go here, all right? One of the most unusual things is uh, the battery is underneath the seat and the seat must be down in order to start the vehicle, which is not like a car, but that's okay. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna work that problem out. Let's plug this thing in, shall we? Okay, beeps, lights are on. Looks like it's ready to get plugged in. Be very careful, start with the positive first and then the negative. So we'll take the red boot off. We'll put the, see what I mean about it falling down like that? Hmm. There you go. All right. Now what I'm going to attempt to do here is start this thing uh, with the engine start because I want to get this thing turned over and rolling around, not charge it because it would probably take a few hours. It does take a few hours to charge up that battery. So I'm going to press engine start and it gives you 90 seconds. And it looks like it gave enough charge so that you can get this thing started. Uh, FLO means it's uh, in a mode where if the battery should dip below normal charge, it'll give it a little bit of a trickle. It's the float mode. It's in the instructions. I'm actually going to cover all this because I've got to sit this thing down and I didn't want the, uh, like the, uh, the two probes to make contact with that metal seat. That would not be good. Let's give it a start. Wish me luck, guys. Uh, 
Okay, didn't start. What happened here? It's all still well attached. It says it's 13 volts. I'm going to go into start engine mode. It says it's counting down, you know, 83 seconds, 82, 81. But at one point here, it's actually going to stop and say it's full. Let's just hang on and see what happens. You know what they say about uh, watching grass grow and paint dry and water boiling? Same goes for watching uh, batteries getting charged. Okay, it says it's ready to go. There you have it. Uh, it started the lawnmower, which is the objective I had. Um, will I plug it in and charge this battery up? Yeah, I will. There's the other couple of functions that we talked about. One was reconditioning. I might do that one, uh, but certainly I'm gonna plug this in, check the voltage, hit charge, and let it run. It says for about 24 hours, so I'll do that and uh, get this battery all charged up and reconditioned. It works, so I can give it a thumbs up, other than the two little quirks that I told you about before. And uh, I think the battery was in such poor shape that it did take a little, uh, a couple of extra battery start 90 second things to actually get it going. It may have sent, the battery may have sent some false readings to the unit, because it did um, shut down that 90 second countdown twice uh, prematurely. It wasn't 90 seconds. It was only until the uh, the last time that it gave me a full 90 seconds of boost charge to the battery and uh, that seemed to do it. I could get the thing started, which is good. All right. So just kind of be aware of that. Uh, I'm going to leave a link down below where you can uh, order yourself one of these things if you need it for your tractor lawnmower, if you need it for your car, if you need it for your boat. Uh, it seems to do very well. That's all I have. All right, if you have any questions, leave some comments down below. If you have one of these and you have some experience with them over the long period, because I just got this, but you may have had some more experience with it than I did, leave some comments below. Let's help each other out, shall we? That's all I got. Thank you. We'll see you soon. God bless you. God bless America. May America bless God. Now I got to charge this thing. Now.